Hello, it's Simul, this is Fidu Mestiv Yashal Tadishiv. Here we start our games. Okay. Let's do it. C4. Knight C3. C3. Okay, it's love defense. Let's see the run system to read. Okay, let's go on King's Indian. And this way I want to play something something unusual like Trumpovsky. Okay, it's knight of here I'm playing the most uh, aggressive way like bishop g5 knight g6 okay uh not really like this kind of positions maybe i was uh, too early i played d5 you know maybe i should play knight a free and goes in scotch defense here i don't sure that i have that it, i mean that i have got a clear knowledge about coming positions and how to play on it Let's play in anyway. Okay, e6 f4, knight f3, d6, knight f3. This one of my students here today. I talk about four pawn attack f4, and then if relation love to f3. But personally, me uh, prefer. Personally, I prefer the main lines that raises after knight f3. Bishop is seven, queen f3. Knight f6. Oh, sorry. Knight f6. Knight f6. Knight f6. Maybe play g3 and put my bishop on g2 because I don't know how what's the arrangement for what pieces is the best. Maybe g3, bishop g2, and knight going on e2, knight on f3, not blocking the f pawn, and later after castle, I can play f4 for one tempo. Let's do this way. Bishop f5. Interesting. Interesting. Maybe queen f3, queen b3, I mean, and this way. Maybe knight c3 simply right now. First knight c3. Well, let me check how many games I have. This one, second, third, fourth, five, six, seven. One more player is still not in the. not online, I mean. Okay, queen c7, castle and long. Bishop e2 here. Knight g7. Okay, I suppose the main line is queen b6 attacking on d4. I mean, making a pressure on it. But knight g7, of course, also absolutely possible way. Absolutely possible line. Let's react like I'm reacting on queen b6. I'm playing a3. e6. Queen b3, queen b6. c5, taken, taken. Not the best one. Why bishop f5 is not... is not so popular? Here should be a f here should be a way which makes some problems for black, but I don't remember it honestly. And b3 leads to bishop b4. It's unpleasant position because of the bishop b2 knight e4, rook c1 queen a5, queen uh, even king c2 is impossible. So on b3 bishop b4 bishop d2 should be played, but I don't want to put my bishop on d2. Uh, I mean when uh, b3 is played hmm. may 
maybe playing bishop e2, creating the fleet of knight h4, gaining the bishop pair's advantage, and maybe it will lead to some slight but comfortable advantage. Bishop c5, okay, bishop g2, c5. Okay, he don't want to go onto the main lines, which raises after e5. Okay, castle in here means that I want to play Sicilian position after c takes d4. But uh, I'm not sure that I want it, honestly. I don't really understand Maruza systems when c4 is played. I mean, this c4 is played and this position is uh, are very hard for my understanding. So let's try to play close position after d5, b5. Interesting way. Honestly, I only met this position when. Knight bd7 is already played. What's the difference? Let's understand. e5, bishop b7. e takes d6. bishop d6. knight b5 maybe. Knight b5, knight b5, bishop. No. Huh. Okay. Huh. Let's check it for once more time. e5, bishop b7. He takes d6, bishop d6, knight db5, a b5. Nice b5, bishop f3, nice seven, bishop seven, g takes f3, and I have a piece down. Maybe, maybe after e5, bishop b7, I have queen g3 move. d takes e5, f takes e5, knight d5. Oh, after knight d5, I can take on e7 and take on g7. And knight h5, queen h4, for example, bishop g5, queen g5 g6 you know there are such holes in black's camp they sh should not be good so let's try to do it anyway i suppose that i need to play in concrete chess in chess when i'm trying to make serious problems for my opponents so let's play in tactical way here Okay, let's play knight h4, right on my pawn, knight g2, okay, take it, knight f3, d4, castle in, take it, let me check that my messages, no. Knight f5. Oh, what variation I have got? Queen b6, a3, it is knight c3, knight f5, b4. I'll look in the tempo. Okay, b4. Okay, knight c3, castle in 2, okay, knight h6, I expect it, because knight f5 is coming, he wants to take my bishop, my bishop, my lovely bishop. Okay, 
maybe I should play bishop g3, I don't know. How to... Oh, maybe I should break the position after c4. Immediately starting creating something. I don't know. Don't know, maybe, 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 maybe. Uh, d4, d5, bishop, d5. Let's play c4, in my opinion, most aggressive way to create the problems. Castle in bd7. Okay, I will take on a5, firstly. We should be seven, of course. Um, we should be seven. Queen Jeffrey, of course. He takes a five, C takes D five. I want to make the Pawns one weaknesses in your camp in in his camp I mean uh, and maybe queen b3 later taking on b7 on d5 c takes d5 d6 maybe i should play king h1 and trying to make a for promotion maybe firstly playing h3 taking control under g4 square which can be used by my openings knights and bishop maybe in uh, generally by knight so maybe h3 first the king h2 and preparing e f4 bishop d7 okay knight c3 on bishop b2 first line. knight c3, I like this move. Okay, the dragon system. Okay, let's let's see what he knows in principal lines. Knight d5, taken, a6. Okay, the idea that after e takes d5, he wants me to play e takes d5, because if I will take this c takes d5, he will be able to play b5, immediately gain some space advantage on the queen side. And that way, he have a sense to play a4, and that's a move which I want to do. Okay, e6. Knight c3 looks normally, but knight f5, bishop g3. That's a way in position and try to use some weaknesses which made by this move, f6 and d6. And honestly, I don't know how I'm usually doing it. Maybe, maybe, interesting ways to play e3. And after e3, knight f5, playing bishop d3, knight h4, knight h4, and my idea will they'll be playing queen h5. Okay, I like it. e3. f3 here. c6. Mm -hmm. Playing on different ways. He wa she want to play c takes d5, c takes d5 b5, of course. Interesting, nicely played. Nicely played. Maybe, maybe I can play a3 immediately starting to create in something. A3, c takes d5 and maybe knight d5 even. Maybe, 
maybe at all change this bishop and play a free b4. I don't care about c to his d5 because I will take this my knight. Okay. Let's see what happened on this way. Uh, but no, no. It will make your uh, black species active and I. Sorry. Internet problems. <clears throat> Bishop g5, king h2, watch. C takes d5 is very annoying for it. Because I don't want to play e takes d5. If I will take e takes d5, at some moment it will give for black a possibility to play f5. Okay, let's make this move, bishop g5. Anyway, bishop g5. Queen f5, okay. This idea is... Um, is nice because it uh, can win the... I mean, she want to take this my knight, this queen, not um, making bad the pawn structure. But here I can go back with my knight and have an extra piece. Okay, here queen d2, knight f5, principal way. Okay, I want to play bishop d3. I want to understand what will happen after knight f5, knight f5. It will be interesting. Okay, taking here. Taking this pawn, that's the idea. Okay, bishop b2. Okay, castling. c4. And Grant is the new member of our simul. Queen takes f6. Of course, I accepted it. a3. d5, king b1. G6, Knight C3. Let me check my messages. Okay, everything is normal. Kesselin, Kesselin, Kesselin is possible. Uh, okay, there is no, there is no freeze for my king. I mean, Queen Bishop H two is not serious sacrifice, I suppose. Okay, D takes C four. Of course, have got a sense. Maybe bishop d3 was not a real good move. Maybe better was simply playing knight c3. You know, knight h4, knight h4, the idea of queen h5 is also threatens. But here I just lost my tempo. Not good. Because I want to play bishop d3 in the way that knight on f5 may hang in. But <laughs> of course he is not hanging. What What's a, what's a question? I don't know what I'm what I want to see here. Okay, let's take here. Ninety four of course. Here is E five most critical way. Nine B D seven. Um here I should find of course arrangement for my pieces. I suppose the best one is to play knight d2 and going on c4 creating pressure on d6 pawn knight f5 taking on f6 h5 okay okay very concretely g5 is a freak now G5 
is freed, but h3 is not helped really because after g5, no, bishop g3. Oh, maybe if the h3 he had a bishop d6 move, which controls g4 square and g5 on next move. Oh, h5 is a great move. Completely missed to this one. So let's make maybe some counter chances maybe queen b3 knight a5 queen a4 c6 uh bishop d3 g5 taken on g5 f takes g5 knight bd2 i have a piece down but uh, maybe maybe pawns by black pawns slightly vulnerable and they have squares to penetrate on e5 on e4 taken on g5 Maybe I will have some compensation, and I suppose it will be aggressive. Bishop d7, b4. Castle in lawn. I want to go into the end game, <coughs> of course. Bishop f6, knight d5. <coughs> Let me make the pressure on the d file by queen d3, later ok d1. Wow, knight h4. I'm honestly not looking at this side at all. I was. Oh, I want to play bishop e2, but now pawn on g2 are hanging. I should be much more accurate, you know. You know, you know, you know. Pawn on d4 is hanging for some moments. Huh. Interesting way. Interesting way in h 4 Don't even look at it. Taking on h4, queen h4, and it's a taking on d4 in very annoying way. And I have no real normal way to protect from it. Hmm. Oh, I'm, is if you look at my previous, some previous videos from my simuls, you know that I'm completely completely hating the French defense because I don't understand what white need to do here completely in all of my French games I have problems with white and maybe maybe this position is not a problem but for me it looks like I don't know what to do. Very strong move. Very strong move. Maybe I will need to take this pawn on f3. But what move making right now? Which move making right now? Bishop b5, knight f3, queen f3, knight e4. Nope. Had a big problems. Honestly. Maybe knight g1. <laughs> Maybe knight g1. Horrible move, but. I want to play G3. Oh, I should be punished for this. Hope I will not.
Okay, I will do it. Okay, he play in the most principal way. Knight e5. Firstly, I want to take control under g for square. Huge. By playing h3. Knight e5, queen e4. Check. Queen d3. 7. Maybe a full stop in all this stuff. But okay, after a four, she had very interesting playing at g5. Okay, Anna as always make some difficulties for me. Some some problems the, when I'm already have material advantage. I'm always starting to feel some problems when when, when playing against her. Okay, I want anyway play f4. Okay, here I will sacrifice the piece. Wow, b5. <clears throat> Breaking the structure. Breaking the structure and um, seriously contemplate. Okay, I will play in my way and improve my pieces. F takes c5, e4, G5, okay. I will load the piece, but let's do. Okay, here I'm playing here, and maybe later I G2 even. Oh. Tough position, but who knows? Maybe I can use the. Ch not good pawn structure, this knight on e5 which slightly stuck. Okay, all of my players still thinking. Knight f3 or knight e2? Let's put it on e2. He's protecting also on c3 for some moments. And he's much more flexible on it. Yeah. Rook d8, okay. Temporary protecting on d6. c5. d takes c6. You know, seems like collapse which raises in this game in the center can be absolutely not my favor. But, but I have a way to win a pawn after d takes c6. I'm again lost my connection. So, what's the stream? This so. This is so nice internet. D takes c6 maybe. And after taking, taking on b5. And taking on b5 one more time. Anyway, uh, we have a pawn up. And black should... I mean... Uh, prove that uh, they have enough compensation. Let's see. King b8, okay. Bishop d2, I continue to development. Bishop b6, okay. Okay. 
In these positions, black have very strong bishop pair and they have very nice attacking resources. Uh, I suppose that they have, should play bishop b5, a4, b3. Neutralize one of them. Taking on b5, okay, let's play on the principal chess. Okay, bishop is 7. Maybe knight e5. I don't know. Why not playing before? Why am I not thinking about it? Let's continue. B4 and play here. G5. Okay. If you play them, go inside and I will try to ignore it and make it my own plane. H6. F4. Knight H5. Queen H4. Queen e5, bishop e7, and black have not got enough compensation, I suppose. Bishop b5, okay. Taken here. I'm taken here. Okay, I don't know why I can't win this pawn. I want to do it. Okay, knight f3. Knight c4. Still thinking rook f d8. Okay, queen e2. Queen. Bishop e2. Okay, here we will have a main King's Indian. And still thinking on all of the other boards. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Let me check my messages. Nothing. Wow, B5 is interesting. Maybe I can play Bishop H3 this tempo, attacking on F5 and one attacking on D5. I'm I'm developing and threatening. Knight c4. Wow. Wow. Nice. Completely missed this resource. C4 B5 
Okay. Bishop c4, b5, take, take. I don't want to give them my bishop. So I will take this knight. Queen d7, go anywhere from knight b5 from the pin. Okay, maybe I may take here b5, queen b3, taking, taking this bishop, attacking on e6. Okay, queen c7, I can play a5, trying to block the activity on the queen side. I can play bishop e3, just finishing the development. Okay, I like to just bishop be free. Taking this bishop. Going on e4. Knight e7. Okay. Here we are. I have a pawn up. And. Um, okay, bishops are, color, are opposite colors. And. Opposite colors, I mean, and um, it's not so clear that uh, my advantage, material advantage, is so big. How to play? Maybe Nancy Free Knight e5, but in this way, Black's Bishop gain this square on d4. Very nice square from which I can move it only this exchange sacrifice. Don't really see another way. King h2, bishop f2. Oh, hardly, hardly bishop e2. Maybe king h2 and trying to play f4. Okay. Queen d6. Mm -hmm. Here we are. Ninety five Bishop F six. Ninety six leads to nothing. Okay. Oh, pawn on before is hanging. So I need to play a three. Queen C seven. Okay. Sacrifices are continued. I will accept the challenge and take it. B5 bishop f3. K8. I want to play bishop f3 firstly, and nothing change till this moment. Bishop f3 looks very normal. Mm -hmm. Okay, king h1. G6, of course. Castle in law. Castle in short. Castle in. Wow. Always forget about such kind of resources. Again, I have a problem says in my position. Don't really love it. But anyway, black also have some problems with the realization of their advantage. So okay, I need to castle here. Rook h g8 maybe playing queen e7 is a oh after knight b5 or queen here is protected okay i need to play i need to play something like knight b5 i want to make position easier Bishop b3. This witch bishop t4. 
taken. This, this which pawn I mean. I think this is a pawn because of the c takes b3 I've opened too much lines for their rooks. But after a takes b3 I'm also should of course think about a5, queen b5, a4. Opening prospects for attack because after b takes a4, rook db8, rooks uh, just crashed my position. After a4 I will make move c3. And uh, covering this bishop, so let's do it. H7. To continue maybe rook a c1 or maybe rook a d1 with a d4 e5 rook a d1 how about it wow <laughs> i'm not expecting this move I don't know why I'm uh, playing. I can play in rook b3. This is a free of rook f3. Let's check why. Okay, now b6. Taking on b6, queen b6, rook b1, b4 is free tens. Or maybe knight here is a standard way to avoid the exchanges by playing knight e3 knight e6 plus lane g6 okay i should use a black house in this camp my knight will go on d6 so queen d6 Firstly, I will take here a5. Immediately determines the pawn structure. Knight um, b5, a takes b4, a takes b4, bishop b4. Eh. I don't know. Okay, I don't see any moves. E5, okay. Okay, okay. 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 Good. What? I don't know theory here. If honestly. Let play h3. Okay. Oh, I haven't got a moves in another board. I'm not sure if. Okay. Anna resigned. Thanks for her too. Eh. <laughs> Why? Why it moves? I have a moose on boards. Oh! It should be... It could be taken from this side. I'm... I forget about it. <coughs> it's hard to play. to play 
d takes e5, bishop d5, bishop f5, g takes f5, rook e1, no, 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 no. Anyway, I should take on d5 if I have another moves. A5. I should play d4. I have should I should make some kind of active counterplay. Bishop g3, rook g3. I'm connecting also my rook. Rook d6. Okay, rook d1. I will change one pair of rooks, and will try to play for a long time this position. Of course, it will be possible if you will change it. Should be five, of course. Any ideas? <sighs> Pawn on B four is also hanging. Oh, it's annoying. Okay, I will sacrifice the exchange. Bishop d7. e5, I suppose he will play knight c8. Looks not active, but maybe not bad. Let's make it clear. Queen e6. I suppose now I should connect my queen to the game. Maybe queen d3. This idea of queen b3. Changing the queens and going in the end game. Yes, I'm boring. g4. And completely missed counter control hits today. I don't know how to play here. I suppose I should take on f five. Have no anyways. Sacrificing the exchange. Okay, knight g6, queen d5. Taking here, knight c4. No, he will not change in the pieces. Taking. I have not got a moves. On another board. Here my opponents are thinking. Here is still thinking. Aixen still thinking. Still thinking. Taken. Position is too bad. Need to find a draw into the end game. Maybe I will be lucky and will hold it. B5. 
of course. Trying to move away from this clutch. Uh, I don't know. Knight b6, knight a5. Knight a5 looks interesting, yeah. Maybe we could hide in two. Ninety-five, uh, ninety-six. I want to make some collapse in the center by playing e5 at some moment, but how can I do this? If I will take on b6, queen b6, maybe rook b1. The idea of b4. Win before is annoying. Well, okay, I want to say to save the pieces on the board. Okay, taking this queen. King f6. Okay, in this position, my defensive method is to change how much more po pawns as it possible. So I'll play d5. Rook g8, I will make this g3, I suppose. Okay, I'm also winning the knight on g6, I suppose. I've taken on e6. Should go back. Taken here. Knight c5. Mm, queen c2, maybe. Oh no. No, of course not. This leads to knight e4, and knight on d4 will hang in. Okay, I can play bishop f3. F takes g2, king takes g2, rook e3. I can take on e6, I suppose. I called it nyam. Rook d5. Knight cb5. I suppose knight on d4 can be useful. Maybe I can. Maybe I can simply sacrifice in it. Oh, maybe sacrificing on e6 right now. Let me check. Knight e6. F takes e6. Knight b5. Queen e7. Knight d6. Okay, it's winning. Knight, queen, winning. Queen, queen a5, knight d6, king f8, rook f1. Oh, it will be interesting. Oh, I like this move. Rook e6, okay. <laughs> What the next square for me? Will be if I'm playing King D three, will it be third repetition? Rook six Rook D six one two I want to play queen d3 and on rook d6 I want to play queen f1. Okay? I don't know, will be third repetition. Castling. Knight 
No, it's not. <clears throat> I want to play b5 here. At the bronze? Rook e2. Okay, bishop f3. Protecting the knight. Knight c8. Again. <laughs> I want to play e5. D takes e5, d6. Looks interesting. For example, e5, knight h7, knight c4, coming back, taking on d6, maybe. Rook e8, rook e1, rook f8. Okay, I can take it. Check I'm going on h1. Seems like I haven't got a most in the birds. Okay. I will have a rook up. After all these changings. Rook e4 and rook b3, putting the rook behind the pawn. And we'll promote in it. F takes e6, knight b5, ok, knight h7, I think simply going back this knight on c4, yeah, rook e1, b5, rook g5, of course, I think in this position I have very big drawish resources, because even if after taking the rook, even if I lose all of my pawns, it's not so simple win this end game. Because black should avoid the rook's exchanges. And because the corner is not right colored and I think it's not all over here. Rook is six, okay. <laughs> How to improve my position? How to improve my position? Maybe F four or five? Okay. Okay. Let's see what what happened after d6. Queen b6. Maybe queen h3 and queen h6. For example, queen f3, bishop c5, queen h6, bishop d4 with perpetual check. I don't know. draw is not good result okay my wife says that draw is not good result mm. <laughs> and I'm trying to play for a win okay in this way I can play Queen h3 and after Bishop c5 I can play Knight f3 this idea of knight g5.
what bishop f2 king h1 but bishop f3 nothing okay i think i decided to play queen h3 and bishop c5 lead to rook d1 bishop d4 bishop d4 queen b5 sacrifices a pawn but leads to holes on dark squares let's try to do it here maybe b5 not giving pawn so so easy I hear that one game finished okay yeah the parrot resigns the pirate resigns I mean King f5 Okay, b6 Pushing a5 Oh, I have so much so not much time here Maybe b3 Queen b8 Taken on queen d5 Taken Rook b8, rook b1 I suppose this position is simply drawing Already My opponent b7 is pretty pretty strong okay it takes a four in advance i have bishop d5 move here and after f takes a free taking on f7 in d7 maybe rook b5 Taking the spawn King G two going on H three maybe taking on F seven King C seven H3, yeah. <sighs> Is this position drawing? I suppose after taking on b7 it leads to a draw because I just need to destroy a pawn, move it away I don't really know the relation king g2, king d5, h3, king e4, king h1, king f3, king h2, king f2, king h1, king g3, king g1, king f3, king h1, king g3, king g1, h3, king h1, 
Qui vit là Les cheveux, je pense pas. So I will just stay here. On one place. I'm doing nothing. Okay, Rook C4. Rook D1 or F1. Okay, I suppose that black haven't got a way to use the fact that I have a pawn on h3. Because it's blocked and uh, it also stalemated, I mean, so there is no real way to protect it. Uh, I mean, to use it. Okay, king h8. I will take in here and after taking I will have d7 move. B6, wow. I have a 5 move. I have knight c6 move. Knight c6, queen d7, e5. Or maybe bishop b2. Knight c6, queen d7. E5, D takes E5. Mm. Queen D7, Bishop. No, it's another way. Absolutely. E5, D takes E5. Bishop A, T takes D4. Bishop B2. I support the. Bishop B2, Bishop B7 attacking here. B6 is interesting, very concrete. Okay, I will have queen c2 move. After bishop b2, bishop b7, queen c2. And knight f4 is, knight f4 is not working anymore because after taking on e4, I will protect my knight on d4. Okay, knight d6. What is it? I can take here. Okay, queen b6, checking. On d6. Okay, king h3, it's a draw. Wow, <laughs> what are you doing? Nixon resigns. Uh. Okay, here. I suppose I will check mating after this move. What? Queen c2 protecting on e4. Wow. I'm not expected at all. Okay. It makes position easier. 
and maybe clearly in Black's favor. Unfortunately for me. Nice move. Bishop d4, queen d5, queen h5. I have no ideas. I mean, active ideas. Active traits. Okay. Just position well the pawn. Rook c8. I want to play rook c6. Rook e6 at some moment. Maybe f5. No, no, don't like this move. Oh, not yet. I want to start to attack. Queen b5. Give me a second. I want to play queen h5 with idea not to go to, mm, I mean, not to allow penetration after queen e2 and g4. I want to play pawn on a3 after queen b3 immediately. I have a checks at least. Queen h5, queen b3, bishop e3, queen a3, bishop g5 and f6. Creating some kind of counterplay. I need it. Okay, king g7 is supposed to lead to the checkmate after queen e7. King h6, knight f7. It should be checkmate somewhere. <laughs> <clears throat> one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Four games still playing. And how many games have finished already? Four games. Four games have finished, yeah. of d7 maybe g of oh, 95 and 90 d3 maybe rook d1 and knight g5 bishop e2 later c play f4 and bishop f3 also knight is hanging <laughs> g3 is not a good move <laughs> this way <laughs> okay okay here I have knight of seven move rook c6 of course maybe queen e2 is a deal g5 and queen e7 yeah. Is it interesting? Or Queen E two can lead uh, to A five, yeah? And pawn on B five is not hanging. Maybe Rook D two is much more easiest way to protect. Bishop B two. Okay, I can take him here firstly. Let me let me think how to finish it. How to how to how to finish it. Mm. Now I 
knight f7, king g7, knight g5, king h6, queen h7, king g5. Now, now, queen f8, knight g7. It should be a checkmate somewhere. Still thinking in all of the games. Here I have much more time even. Here very close to be a call. And here here my opening have much more time of course. King e8. I suppose I should play bishop e3. This idea bishop h6 will be freed because after each pawn on f7 is hanging. So I need to connect my pieces to attack. Okay, let's see what happens in these games. I suppose here I have... Oh, let's calculate here. <laughs> King g5. Is here the checkmate or not? King g5, knight f7 check. King g4. H3, King G3. I don't like it. <laughs> it's unfair. King G5, Knight F7. King G4, Knight H6. King G5, H4. King H4. King E7, King G3, Queen G5, Queen H2, Rook H1, yeah! <laughs> so, King G5, Knight F7, King G4, Knight H6, King G5, H4, King H4, Queen E7, King G3, Queen G5, King H2 and Rook H1. No? Is not good. Bishop h6. I suppose he wants to prevent f4. Maybe knight d5. Yes, going, going forward. Bishop g7. Maybe queen d1, this idea of rook d8. It's in my favor to change one pair of roots. So I'll try to do it. Okay, knight g7. I can play knight f7 and take on g7. But it's... I mean, I want to, to make a checkmate. If it is possible, of course. Let's play here. Mm -hmm. C6. Okay, and so I should go back. I am completely underestimate this move. I'm supposed that after bishop h6 he had some holes on the dark squares and can use it, but but okay, okay. I make some weakness on d6 maybe for later. F6. Okay, I suppose bishop h6 and queen f7 looks very nice. g5. Okay. Knight f7. Yeah, knight f7 here and taken on g5 on next move. Leads to the checkmate.
Okay, he resigns. Let me thank him for the game. I'm still have not got the moves on the another board. Okay, I'm have a much more time than chess boards already, and um, ten minutes behind the end granite. Okay, I suppose here black stays very nice. Black, very nice. White is very nice. Pawns are on d6, c6 and b6 here are not really good, but after queen c7 or queen e7, how I can use it? Queen e7 or queen c7 or rook d8 later. I mean, my pieces also stays pretty awkward. And I don't see normal squares for them. Did you see it? No, my wife don't see it. A three and B four. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, A three and B four. Maybe their idea. Okay, rook G eight. I suppose Queen F seven should come in. And if Queen E eight I will take on E six. I suppose I have very too much fruits here. Okay, um, I will change one pair. Bishop of eight. And queen b8, I suppose. Protecting on f4. My idea is to play c6, c4 at some moment and trying to push forward my pawn. Queen h4. Active. Very active. Maybe bishop f1. Open the queen to protect on f2. Also create an idea of g3 and bishop g2. I like this move. Still thinking, still thinking, still thinking. This game against and Granite the one of the most difficult, I suppose. And um, um, I mean, my pieces stays on night pla nice places, but also his pieces also stays on nice, and. Um, I want to play g3 right now, bishop g2, and I want to combine different ideas of playing on both sides. I want to play f2, f4, also I want to play a3, b4, uh, trying to make his pieces going back and uh, gaining some space advantage and reaching, in my opinion, strategical advantage. In the game against chess portal. I should say that this variation for black is very dangerous from practical point of view because uh, it's hard to play for much than a draw in this line. And um, if I play inaccurately, if I play inaccurately, they will have. Uh, nice prospects to uh, 
to create some problems because in my opinion here here right now black have some problems their pieces are slightly uncoordinated and i want to create a pass point for example after c4 b takes c4 b takes c4 it's impossible to immediately stop it by e6 opening the bishop because rook on f6 will be completely stuck in on king side so interesting days interesting ways for black for black interesting ways to play rook c6 and for example on queen b7 play rook f6 back attacking my pawn so in my opinion they should concentrate all their forces to stop my c pawn oh obscure resigns um, i was a little bit surprised with this decision but i suppose after queen e8 for example queen takes a6 rook g6 black is still in the game so okay here h5 interesting i will take it knight e6 Knight e6, maybe g4, oh, knight e4 in this way. Maybe knight c2 is idea taking on d4 this knight. Yeah, I like it. g takes e5, and I want to immediately create the past pawn. B takes C4, taking on C4. Oh, here is Obscura 365 resigned, and he is correctly said for me that on my calculated queen e8, white have bishop g7, not queen e6. That's why he resigned. Bishop e2. Yeah, bishop e2 is queen e7, queen d1, king g2. And it's all over because queen f6 is his final threat. Yeah, unfortunately, unfortunately, but I have not got enough resources to do to continue the. Do Continue the fighting, I mean. Maybe Queen E2 is possible. Other players still thinking, and I'm very close to be a call this time, this on Granite. So the position is very difficult to understand because my pieces not all, also not staying really nice, staying pretty awkward, and but and he's play, placed nice, but he hasn't got much uh, space advantage and. Really, really, I don't see a way how he can uh, rearrange the, those pieces on nice squares because I still want to play g3 and f4. So, if he will find some dynamic, oh, okay, c5, I'm taking on e4. 
Yeah, he find it. <laughs> For sure. Ninety-six bishop e four. Huh. Maybe g3, queen e4, queen e4, bishop e4, knight e6, rook e6. Nope. c5 is such kind of dynamic about I'm talking. Brilliant. Brilliant. I haven't got in other words. Just brilliant. I haven't got a wish to protect, so I need to take on e6. e5, okay. They're risking. I will take the pawn, and what's the compensation I need? I don't know, bishop e4, queen c3, rook c6, I will be pawned down. He find it. <sighs> queen c3 is only move for me. But maybe after rook e6, I have move f4, interesting move. And. Um, we have not got much squares to move. Position is very concrete and I'm not sure. F4, bishop f4, knight f4, queen f4, bishop c1. But okay, f4 knight shouldn't lead for something. Maybe I should try knight g3. Idea is interesting. I, when after bishop d b7 move away, I can play rook d6. Rook takes d6 and queen e5. Oh, it's interesting. Let's think. I will open this diagonal. Knight g3. And after bishop b7, rook d6. Rook d6, queen e5, okay. Rook c6. Okay. I can take on h5. But I want to firstly protect my pawn on c4 because it's my... Uh, my diamond. In this position. Now, position becomes really dynamical. It's what about was I was scary. I mean, I mean, black should be uh, strong in this dynamic because th uh, I supposed that it's black who need it. But in fact, I'm not sure it's about it right now because after bishop b7, rook, bishop, rook, okay, bishop c6, rook d6, rook d6, queen e5, rook d4. But okay, 
rook d6, rook d6, queen e5, rook d4, bishop d4, queen d4, queen c7, maybe at the beginning on b6, maybe, maybe not taking on, no, bishop d4, queen d4, queen c7. I will lean on b6. Bishops are strong, and of course it compensates the pawn, but maybe I'm not worse after it. I need to play it. Here, black should find a way how to protect the pawn, but I, but I failed to find it. Honestly, rook h6 is possible way because c5 is not really good due to rook c6 back. Rook b6, okay. I can, I can first play in here. Bishop g7 is played. Okay, here I suppose I can take on e6. F takes e6, rook e5, of course, but rook e6, knight f3. Queen f3, bishop f3, rook e8, rook e8, rook e8, bishop f8, and g takes f3. Should be winning. Bishop d6, okay. I lean in by firstly, I suppose. Taking on e6 this pawn, I suppose simply rook e5 should be enough for a win here. Okay, the only move here is queen h7 because king h both king h8 and king f8 leads to queen d8. Okay, it's all over here. And taking on b6. Unfortunately, it's all over. Nice game by Chess Portal. Uh, I respect his uh, ambitious to go into this line when, where I mean, Black have Black should play very precisely. Where Black should uh, precisely understand what she wants, what th what they want. I mean, and. Uh, uh, for some moment he played nice, but uh, it's difficult to play against queen. I mean, queen the strongest piece on the board, and it's difficult to always choose the lines which restricted him, which uh, makes he, her life difficulter. I mean, uh, at some moment better was to play a5, a4, sacrificing the pawn and b5, but open the files for the rooks. And but and anyways this game was nice queen f4 queen f4 here i don't want to go into the end game after queen e5 so i will play queen e1 saving the queens on the board okay the chess portal resigns should answer on the questions.
bishop e5 of course bishop takes e5 i want to make the uh, strong battery on the main diagonal by playing bishop c3 later maybe queen e5 maybe bishop a1 and queen c3 all is all of this is matters of the point of the mm, square of the queen Queen G five. Okay. Maybe I can play even F four. Moving away this queen, because after it, Knight on G three will be protected by my queen. I want because after Bishop C three E five, I should take this pawn and E five this queen, and I don't want again going even into the winning. Uh, Endgame. I want to make it all over in the middle game. Oh, sorry. F4, I suppose. This will be nice. For example, Queen H4, I will play Bishop C3, taking on E6. And for example, Rook E8, Queen E5. This idea of Queen G7. Let's see. Let's see how it will. How it will. Queen e seven is also possible move. Bishop c three, queen, uh, queen d six maybe. But knight e four, bishop e four, queen e four. I suppose my bishops should br break, should crush Black's position. Queen h4 is a predicted again. Bishop c3. I take it on e6 firstly. Okay, rook e8. Rook e8. Queen e5. Queen g7 is a free, so I suppose he'll play queen h6. Okay, he taking on g3 and say good game, I will play queen g7, no, he resigned. Okay, let me thank him, thank him, I mean. Okay, the symbol is over and uh, one player from eight make a draw against me and uh, you know this symbol was one of the most hard for me because I have many games in which I have real problems for example this one against Young Granite I suppose I have troubles in opening I have troubles against Obscura I have troubles against G T. I have troubles in any and other games, I suppose. Everyone plays very nice today, thanks to all of them. And um, uh, good luck to all of you, and best wish. See you later in my next emails.
थैंक यू बाय बाय